Well, <laughs> I'm trying to keep the world to sing in perfect heart. No, to research, not sing. <laughs> That's what I want to do is show you how to find stuff that you'll never find in Google. Like right now, we, you know, we had the stimulus package and everything, and that was about six, eight, ten months ago, whatever the heck it was. And there may be another one. But what's going on in our country is that there, there's new stimulus grants, you know, uh, for individuals and personal problems and emergency help that are popping up like mushrooms every single day. Everybody's sitting around waiting for Nancy and <laughs> and Donald <laughs> to, to start dating again. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we'll live that long. <laughs> we probably will, but uh, maybe Donald, maybe somebody else she'll be dating with him. Well, anyway, uh, but that's why everybody's sort of be twiddling their thumbs, waiting for something to happen in Washington. No, you can't do that. There's too much other stuff out there. I mean, uh, legitimate people are out there, you know, providing uh, programs. They're not easy to find. It's not like one big general program that everybody's uh, avail uh, eligible for. No, you got to do the digging. Uh, and at, at the end of this, I'll show you uh, how to do that more. But what to, here's some I found recently here. A $3,000 grant to pay rent, utility, and business restart. Uh, <laughs> and this is uh, at the county level. So if you have to restart your business, and that's why I say, well, you know, you've been out of business or maybe you have a little business or whatever. So that's $3,000 are given out. And this is new. That just started in the last couple of days. Now, here's another one, uh, $1,000 to $50,000 for nonprofits and uh, businesses uh, to pay utility bills, to restart. Also, child care. Man, you know how many people now are suffering with child care. <laughs> One of the parents can't go to work because they got the kids at home, right? So this is a big problem. So here's what Lee County is doing in Florida. They have a whole bunch of programs. Utilities assistance, round one. See, they have another round three in November. So even though they, the, the programs that you run into, oh, we spend all our money. There's another round coming. So ask the people about another round. Okay, have no money now? Will you be getting money later? And if so, when? Okay. Clear child care assistance, funding for United Way child care scholarships, uh, and PPP or P, not PPP, are you PPP? <laughs> PPE supply for par parenting child care providers. So you get PPP. PPE equipment if you're taking care of child care. Child care scholarships for qualifying families. Uh, and that's available, again, at the county level. So here you have pay your bills, uh, pay for child care. Here, business rehire program. Okay, this is a program. Uh, completely ap applications are being processed as quickly as possible. If you need additional documents, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so that's available from the same source. Okay, businesses with fewer 250 people. Okay, here's another grant for paying house payments in New Mexico. Uh, it's funny, I was helping a, uh, a lady who was looking for emergency money. Uh, uh, for paying bills in Mexico. And after, as soon as I finished answering her question on Let's Go Help, I said, oh, this, I forgot to tell her about this. <laughs> and I was able to say, that's right, it comes up, you don't know where, whatever, and, and it's hard to keep a track of. Uh, so you, and, and no matter how much you, you work at it, you may not get it. I mean, that's true with everything. So, but if you don't do the work, you definitely won't get anything. Uh, and if you have something better to do that gets you more money, then do it. You know, uh, local emergency grants uh, in Beaverton businesses through the pandemic. So that's another thing. I forget how much that is. Jacksonville City Council. Okay, Jacksonville. Okay, through the Bar Association. Now, who the heck would think the Bar Association be handing out money? That's where it is. So that's why it's hard to find the stuff. It's not in the normal places. Uh, and this is grants. Uh, to $5,000 for individuals and $10,000 for businesses, okay? And it's for eviction prevention and foreclosure. So if you have trouble paying your rent, your mortgage, and things like that, $5,000 for individuals and $10,000 for businesses. Okay, Harris County, that's Texas here. Direct assistance, uh, $1,200 uh, per person. Uh, and they have $50 million uh, they're going to uh, give out this way. I mean, you're all waiting for, at least <laughs> the, half the country is waiting for the uh, $1,200 from the IRS. Man, here's $1,200 right from your county. <laughs> what you got to do now is find out if it's available in your county.
Okay, here's another one. $2,500 for self-employed. You're self-employed. You know, uh, there's a program. This is Monroe County. I think this is uh, in Florida. Uh, yeah, Monroe County, Florida. So if you're self-employed, $2,500 grant. If you have employees, it's up to $7,500. Uh, and this is new, just in the late October, October 21st, became available. So this is all brand new stuff. Uh, and that's why you have to dig in. Landlord assistant, your landlord, <laughs> or <laughs> you're a uh, not a landlord, but you owe money to your landlord. Tell them about this program. This gives money to landlords uh, because their tenants can't pay. So you could show your landlord how to get them. To, again, a local program. Uh, this is in Omaha has that. Sacramento County launches a program to help communities hardest hit by the COVID. Okay, and this is brand new. Uh, October 27th it started, okay? Uh, $3,000 for businesses uh, with less than 25 employees in Sacramento. That's another one. This is West Sacramento. <laughs> Don't know where that is, but it has to be west of the other one, right? Uh, $10,000 for people in the ag business, agriculture business. I, and this is in Illinois, $10,000 grant. Um, and a brand new program. Again, Virginia, listen, this is incredible. Virginia, okay, the state of Virginia increased the small business grants from $10,000 to a $100,000 grant. $10,000 to a $100,000 grants, okay. Um, and it takes digging. Uh, and you dig it, you gotta dig it <laughs> to get it. <laughs> if you don't dig it, you're not gonna get it. Uh, now here's some other ones that came up in my uh, searches recently. Spokane has $10 million for hospitality grants. That's people in a hospitality business. So you, you have a theme park, you have a restaurant, you know, you're people coming, having fun at your place. So that's a lot of Michigan businesses get $8 million for safety equipment. So you get all this spray stuff and, you know, uh, washing down everything. So people that come see those kind of grants are available too. And who would have known if you don't know to ask? So you got to you have to know what to ask for in order to get uh, more business funding. Um, uh, city of uh, Tualatin, Ooh, don't know about that, but that's grants, $25,000 grants. Uh, critical phase uh, in Kentucky grants. Uh, here's one, a million dollar grant for hazard pay grant. Uh, not sure who that, here, $20,000 $20, relief grant for your business. Uh, and this is in Spokane County. Twenty twenty thousand dollars. Isn't that amazing? Jamestown businesses receive uh, what is that? Oh gosh, yeah, five hundred thousand dollars in grant money. Okay, uh, to Jamestown, wherever that is. <laughs> There's a company, Dwayne Company, giving out money to people. Uh, local and state governments distributed nine billion dollars to small businesses. Uh, Henry County commissioners approved new COVID grant relief grants. See, that's why if you keep up on what the potential, you know, you you only have uh, three or four jurisdictions where you live on. So if they pass a law, then it's going to be in the next week, next month, this stuff is coming down and you could be first in line. If you, if you watch that, instead of sitting there, you know, finding out about it, maybe three weeks after it, it, it is an, it, it's available and it's all gone by then. Uh, now some aren't, you know, we, I told you last week, I think I showed you some that they can't get rid of. They have to advertise to get rid of. So it, it's no matter what you say about grants, no matter what you say about the government is right <laughs> and wrong. It is right somewhere, not right the other way. So that's why you got to go out and just dig out yourself. Um, here, uh, state COVID relief grants assist programs available for local small businesses. And this is in Wilmington, Ohio. Yeah, see, all this kind of stuff that comes out there every day. Now, when I've been done, if you're not a Lesco, a member of Lesco Help, uh, because, you know, we do help you do the research to find this, but I have a, a lesson a video instructions on how to find the programs, uh, local programs like this, you know, and it's a step-by-step -step who to contact. And remember, you have to call them. Don't rely on just, oh, I see nothing on the website. No. So follow these step-by-step -step, uh, instructions uh, and, and just follow it through. I can't guarantee you get money. Nobody can. 
uh, only people handing out the money. And it's different everywhere. Every city, every town, every county, you know, is going to be different. So that's why I can't keep track of a couple hundred thousand uh, websites to have this stuff. So what I do is teach you how to find it. You got to teach you how to do it. And that way, instead of me finding and doing it all for you, you teach yourself through trial and error how to do this. And then you become super researcher. <laughs> <laughs> and you go out and can always find <laughs> these things yourself. And then you don't have to pay me any more money in your life. <laughs> You'll find out about it yourself. And that's what it's about. This is this is stuff. We live in a democracy. It's available for everybody, no matter what income, no matter what race, no matter what height or size of your shoe. <laughs> it's there for all of us. But you got to know where to go. And I love telling people where to go. <laughs>